Vlogmas Day 14? Yeah, Vlogmas Day 14. That means that we've been doing this for two weeks, which is crazy. So, hi, welcome back. I am clearly ready for the day more than I usually am because I'm going to eat brunch this morning and it's for the new Mean Girls movie and we were asked to wear pink and it's Wednesday because on Wednesdays we wear pink, right? So I'm wearing this really cute um, tank top I got in New York, if you guys remember. Actually, did I ever show it? I don't know. But I got it at the Frankie's Bikini store and I'm gonna be wearing my pink puffer that you guys have seen me wear on top of this, but I didn't know, like I wanted to wear pink under the jacket just in case I wanted to take the jacket off, you know? And then just some jeans and some heeled boots I did the lowest heel boots I have because it's 11 a.m. <laughs> so I didn't want to, you know, wear anything crazy, but it's at a like steakhouse and like, you know, I obviously wanted to look cute. And then I'm finally wearing this really adorable charm necklace you guys saw that I got on Etsy. So I know that at the beginning of the week, I gave you guys like kind of a rundown of how this week's going to work and my plans have since changed. So, <laughs> um, Today was supposed to be the day that I went and got myself a Vlogmas gift. I'm not doing that this year because of the whole apartment situation. Um, it's no longer a decision. It's no longer an, an option for me. Um, not with the finances of everything going on. But that is totally okay. A bag will never go anywhere and life happens. I can always get the bag another time and literally it's fine. <laughs> like it's literally fine. But we will not be doing that today. After the brunch, I do have an eyebrow appointment later. And I'm a little bit nervous because my normal eyebrow girl I go to is out of town. If I need my eyebrows done before I leave for all my travels because I won't be back for so long. So they're going to be crazy. I have super thick eyebrows. So if I don't get them done every like three to four weeks, they are scary. And I was going to just do it in Tampa because I have a place in Tampa that I like because I obviously used to live there. But they don't have anything during the weekend. And... Like, I don't even think they're open, and I get in late on Friday, and I leave early on Monday, so that's not an option either, but I found this place around here, and so I'm kind of nervous. I hate going to new eyebrow people, but I, I mean, she had good reviews, and the pictures, like, that of her eyebrows look like, or not her eyebrows, but, like, of the eyebrows she does look like what I like, and I'm going to go in and just be like, I mean, I'm going to be like, look, I'm so picky. I mean, this is the, always the spiel I give, spiel, I give people... When I first go to a new place, I'm like, I am very picky. I like them big. I like them bushy. I don't like a lot cut. Like, just take as little away as you can. And, yeah. So, I'm not too worried about it. But, yeah, it'll be fine. And then, someone's coming to fix my washer or dryer. I don't even remember. But, my apartment is so scary, you guys. Okay, I'm exaggerating. But... Like, Augie's food is everywhere. I have a million things drying because my dryer's broken, but I'm making it up, right? <laughs> Here goes my load starting over a million times because it's not dry yet. And I need to fold this laundry. I need to start packing. I need to go give my dog a pat on the head because he looks so cute over here. He looks so handsome. Augie, everyone loves you. Do you know that? Because I love you so much. I love you so much. And everyone loves you. Oh. <laughs> You're so cute. Are you playing with your toy? That toy smells so bad. It's like, it's supposed to be like, peanut butter scented or something. It's horrid, you guys. I don't know what it smells like, but it's horrid. <laughs> I'm going to do laundry while I talk, but I just saw a comment that was like, how can you even call these a vlog? Like on my last video that I just posted, it was like, how can you even call these a vlog? They're all so sad and short. And I just want to say, I know it's so like, it's just because with Vlogmas, like, okay, with my normal vlog, right? Usually it's more than one day or it's on a day where like, I have a lot of interesting stuff going on or like I'm in a mood where I'm like very talkative or whatever. So I know the content that I'm filming will be really like juicy and good or it'll be over a course of a few days and then I'll cut out all the parts that aren't good or I'll like only record the parts that are, you know, exciting. 
at least for the most part. I do like my vlogs though to be very like realistic and not like sugar coated or just like aesthetic to be aesthetic. Like I like when they're, you know, truthful to how my days were. But with Vlogmas, like I don't really, well, I don't have that option because it's every day. And just not every day is a day where I, you know, feel like, you know, having a billion fun, exciting things to show you guys. So just, you know, bear with me through Vlogmas. Like I understand that they're a lot shorter than my usual content and a lot of times it's not very exciting, but that's kind of like the beauty of Vlogmas. But I do appreciate those of you who, I mean, are enjoying this Vlogmas for what it is. And like, I never give you guys what's not truthful to my life. And like, if life's weird and kind of not fun, you're gonna see that and so maybe it'll be reflected in my content but I that's what I like about my content and that's what it's always been always 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 so anyways sorry if you guys are feeling that way though it makes me sad that some of you I guess it's only one comment so but it did have a like on it so anyways I shouldn't let it bother me because at the end of the day I know that I'm putting out the best of my ability and I'm happy with what I'm putting out, so I guess really that's all that matters. But anyways, I want, well I'm doing this laundry, but I want to see what the coffee for today is so I can like be excited for it. Should we check real quick? Let me put this away, then we'll check. I think I'm leaving soon too. Okay, I need to leave, but really quickly, let's see what's up, let's see what's up. Day 14. Okay. Caribou coffee, just regular blend. So obviously, if that is the case, I'm going to make the cinnamon roll one later, duh. But this one sounds good too. So have to save that one for a later date. About to head out, but here's the final look. Out of the pink puffer and then that hammock bag you guys saw I got in the mail yesterday. Love, and this is so cute. It's like, it's. I think it's perfect for what I'm doing, so. Yay. Look at this coffee, you guys. It has almonds on top. The toasted almond latte. I want a sip of that. And look how cute. Hey, Renee. Look how beautiful this is, you guys. Did it look like I wanted to go shopping? No, you know, the saying, get in, we're going shopping. Oh, get in, loser, we're, we're going shopping. We're not going shopping. <laughs> well, that was fun, and... That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> the food was, some of it was really good, some of it was questionable. But look guys, I got my own burn book, except it's not going to be a burn book, it's going to be a memory book. But look at, we took some Polaroids. Okay. And I'm going to make this a memory book. But I need to go and make my coffee and change and then head out for my eyebrow appointment. And yeah. I'm like living in, do you have a car on? <laughs> I'm living in like panic mode. Like I'm like stuck in this like anxious whatever just from everything going on. Um, but yeah. Also I didn't realize my eyebrow appointment, eyebrow, hello. Eyebrow appointment was so far away. Like literally 30, 40 minutes away, which is not ideal. But anywho, we, I thought, I don't know why I, I know Anna had told me where this place was and I couldn't remember the name of it, but I thought we were talking about Boa. So I know I said earlier that it was a steakhouse, but it's not, it was Catch. Mm. There's a Catch steakhouse too. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh. Well. Can't, can't, can't. Well, well, well. I had, I mostly had a Caesar salad because I just didn't want to go crazy with carbs. So I had a Caesar salad. I had some avocado toast and. Caesar salad, avocado. Oh, a couple little um, buffalo cauliflowers and a couple bites of salmon, which was not that good. And it doesn't feel so well. <laughs> <laughs> she had some questionable sushi. Okay, I just ran inside to the quick change. I need to leave for my eyebrows. I don't know why I'm like feeling like I'm running around with a chicken with my head cut off today. 
I need to like take a deep breath. But I don't even know why I'm going here. Like, <laughs> why? Ugh. I wish I could just make an eyebrow appointment at the place in Tampa. But also, I have my cinnamon coffee, cinnamon cinnamon roll coffee. I haven't tried it yet. So, cheers. Happy Vlogmas Day 14. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. But I'm too distracted. Okay, I gotta drive. I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Guys, I literally just found an eyebrow place that's like so much closer that I'm gonna go to instead because I'm getting the weirdest vibes from this place I'm going and it's freaking me out. So I'm not gonna go because there's like, oh my God, I took off my big chunky necklace I was wearing and then didn't put on a smaller one. I'm not wearing a necklace right now. That feels so weird. But I, this place that I have had an appointment at, like, doesn't really have new reviews and like it allowed me to book, but like the girl, her Instagram, like she hasn't even posted about eyebrows in like two years. <laughs> and like all of her reviews are really old. So I'm like, is she even practicing? And then like I messaged her cause I can't, I couldn't find the address to the salon. I ended up finding it, but I couldn't find it. So I messaged her asking what the address was and she hasn't even answered and it's I mean I, I found it but it's given me the creeps and it's freaking me out so I found this other place that I think I trust more I don't I, it's like so last minute but I'm literally not gonna go to the appointment I've had for weeks I'm gonna go to this one instead <laughs> literally why am I like this back home I definitely Oh, it's out of focus. I definitely don't really like how my eyebrows turned out. They're like, they're fine. There's nothing inherently wrong with them. Just my eyebrow lady does them so much better. And I'm so picky. <laughs> so I'm a little mad. Like you guys are probably like, girl, they look the same. And I know, but to me, I just had a meltdown. So <laughs> anyways, but I know it's fine. My eyebrows grow back so quick. It was literally one time too. And like, I recognize they look the same. Like I guarantee none of you can tell the difference and if you can please don't tell me because i will have mental breakdown but i got a pr package from urban sophistication and i'm so excited because i've always wanted to try these cases so they sent me love this one this like black shiny i thought it was sparkly for a sec but it's just like black shiny puffer case and then I want to take a picture of this one before oh just slides Ooh, nice and then this brownish one so stinking cute thank you urban sophistication I need to take a photo of those because obsessed so it's 319 I just reheated my coffee I'm waiting on the dish I mean the dryer people to come or washer I don't even remember if it's the washer or dryer today but I was told that they would be here like after 3.30 p.m. So I'm just putting my slippers on. Can't stop looking at my eyebrows. But I think I'm gonna start hacking or at least like planning things out. But my goal is, there's like a name for it, but it's like this, um, it's this like strategy for packing where you like pick out like three pants, three sweaters, three shirts, something like that. And you see how many outfits you can make with each pair of pants. So like, yeah, essentially you just try to make as many outfits with as little amount. Oh, sir. What is your problem? <laughs> I love you. I know you were in the crate for a few hours this morning, so you're probably lots of pent-up energy huh and that's okay i think you're telling me that you need to go out but we were just out there and something you have to learn is to go when we're outside we always have to make like three trips because you, you you go pee and then you decide oh i kind of gotta go number two so then we go out again and then you don't even go number two or number one we come back in and then you're like no way i actually gotta go and then you maybe take you back outside
suit just because it's like a super easy god bless you got some stuff in your nose it's a good place to start and an easy place to start so let's get to it you guys i feel so dumb right now remember how i had that bikini issue where one was like not sewn properly and so i returned it i returned the wrong one so now i have a defective one i don't <laughs> uh. No. I think I'm gonna bring all of these bathing suits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I'm there for I'm there for like six days. Two of those are travel days, but like what if like I wear one in the morning and it's still wet in the afternoon and I wanna wear a new one, you know? And these are so lightweight, I feel like this is fine. So let's see if I can stuff them all in this bag. I know a bunch of you guys were like, oh this is for shoes, but I honestly think I'll make it more useful. By adding my bikinis in it. I don't know. I'm feeling kind of lazy to do that strategy I was talking about. So what I did was I just picked out a bunch of neutral colored bottoms, like shorts, a bunch of neutral colored tanks and t-shirts. And then I have one, I have one dress for dinner. This is for Florida. Two dresses for dinner. And then like that could be an outfit. That could be an outfit. And then, worst comes to worst, I could do like this with like a tank top. I feel like this will be fine. Wait, how many nights am I in the Bahamas? It's five nights total. One of them is New Year's. So this is my New Year's dress. I ended up grabbing this pink dress that I got in New York because I've been dying to like get pictures in it and stuff. I've already worn it, but I've never taken pictures in it. So I think that'll be pretty and it's pink, so why not? Okay, so technically, besides pajamas, which I'm going to bring the same pajamas for Florida, for New Hampshire, and for Bahamas. Like, I'm all just going to, like, wash them. But I think this is everything I'm going to bring, clothing-wise, for the Bahamas. And then I'll have sweaters and stuff so that if I'm cold, like, I have those too. But this is, like, the warm weather specific stuff. And I feel like this is, this is good. I think this will be fine. Because I'm also keeping in, keeping in mind what I wore when I was in Aruba recently. And I was just wearing comfy stuff every day and I wore comfy stuff to dinner So I barely wore anything while I was there, but I think I'm gonna want to dress up for dinners more here. So Yeah, and then I'll throw in some heels and stuff. So But this is good for clothing Like Bahamas and Florida specific clothing. Oh, I need to get the tights for that dress. Okay I have a lot more to do, but this is like a good start Not make this up the guy just came to address the mold situation in my washer he put a scent tablet in there and said yeah it does smell bad but he's like all he said was like he's like it's temporary but um like basically saying like he's gonna come back and fix it but like how many times are you gonna come and look at it and like not actually fix the problem like this is not the first time they've come to look at it he's like this is just temporary and I tried to call blank my landlord but he didn't answer I'm like I have no more fight left in me I was like okay have a good one he was here for like five minutes anyways now I'm moving on to the colder weather clothing and I'm really trying to decide if I need to bring this fourth pair of jeans because I really feel like I could be okay with these three but I want to bring this one too so let me see what else I'm gonna bring. And then, I don't know. So what I'm thinking is all of these could go in my like checked luggage and then maybe I can put my warm weather clothes in my carry-on because these are gonna weigh so much more. I feel like that's kind of smart because he 
yeah, I just feel like it's going to end up saving me a lot of, like, weight, you know? Because I have to also... Mm, I'm going to roll these, I think. That's like my warm weather clothing fit in there. And then I'm not really going to bring too many like sweatshirts and stuff because I'm going to bring a sweat set to wear on the plane there and a sweat set to wear on the plane. Like I'm going to bring two airplane outfits basically and then I'll rewear them. So like I'm not going to pack them and then I'll like wear my dad's clothes or whatever while I'm like at home if I need extra stuff. But okay, I'm going to also put these in my big suitcase. I literally feel like my head's gonna pop off from just like spinning in a million different directions, but I just made myself some dinner. I did a salad with just basically I had like everything I had left in the fridge, like ground turkey, a little bit of brown rice, jalapenos, carrots, celery, blueberries, lettuce, and then I put some walnuts on there too. And then I just did like a Trader Joe's dressing I had in the fridge because I don't have anything really to make a dressing and I'm too lazy to do that but <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here because my head is spinning and I feel like I have so much to do so love you guys so much thank you so much for watching vlogmas day I don't even know 14 yes vlogmas day 14 and I'll see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day 15 good night